Chase Elliott fractures his tibia snowboarding, and there is no timeline for his return. Let's talk about it. Coming up. Next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, the news broke last night that Josh Berry would be replacing Chase Elliott in the nine car for the Cup Series race at Las Vegas. They have not committed to Josh Berry in future races from the interview they gave this morning. Speaking of that interview, let's take a look at that real quick before we continue. Bob? Uh, Bob Hawkers, Fox Sports. Uh, Jeff, what are Hendrick's policies as far as what drivers can and can't do in their free time, and will this force you to or make you want to reevaluate any of those policies? Uh, it won't force us to reevaluate any policies, Bob. I, I think you know these these guys have to go out and and live a life, you know, really outside of the racetrack, and and certainly. What Chase was doing was not anything uh, abnormal for him. He's an experienced snowboarder. He's been doing it most of his life, and and uh, you know it, it was an accident. Uh, a, a similar injury could could happen falling off a mountain bike or stepping off a curb while you're jogging, and uh, you know it, it was an accident. And uh, you know Chase feels awful about it, but uh, you know our stance on it is is just that it was an accident. And uh, our guys have to go out and, and, and live their life. Obviously, you know, we've, we've let these Alex and uh, Kyle both drive sprint cars. Chase has been in, uh, you know, a midget at various times last year. So um, I, I don't anticipate a, a policy change at Hendrick Motorsports based around this. Okay, so you can see there from that clip from Noah Lewis, Bob Pockris was asking the question there that they said they expect no change in policy from how they address things now. And of course, a lot of fans have, have just gone crazy about this particular issue. And really, there are three schools of thought. There is one school of thought that says, well, in this particular situation, you shouldn't let the drivers do anything. Put them in bubble wrap, bubble, bubble wrap when they're finished racing and stick them over there in a corner. Don't let them do anything. That is sort of the Joe Gibbs racing model. We've seen that with they don't want Christopher Bill driving in dirt. Not that they have anything against dirt or anything like that. They just don't want a situation like this that they consider preventable. Uh, so that is their approach. And they have, they're very much upfront about it that that is the Joe Gibbs racing approach. The other approach is... The second approach, at least, would be that you let the drivers do what they want to do in the off season, and then when the regular season starts, you sort of put them in a box and you don't let them do anything. I don't have a specific example of a team that does it like that. And then, of course, there is the third example, which seems to be the Hendrick model, or at least the most recent Hendrick model. I think Hendrick had some things in place before this, but or when they basically when they got Kyle Larson, and that's pretty much just let your drivers do what they're going to do. Uh, give them discretion and pretty much basically just trust them to make good decisions. And that has basically worked for Hendrick so far. They've gotten a championship with Chase Elliott. They've gotten a championship with Kyle Larson since they basically implemented this policy. And I think that's pretty much what you got to do. I actually agree with them and I lean toward their side on this because anything can happen. Like you could be walking across the road, step the wrong way. You could get the exact same injury that Chase Elliott got here. And in fact, if you watch the full Noah, Noah Lewis interview or the full clip of Noah Lewis uh, re recording that interview, they actually say something similar to that in that interview. So you can't live your life in fear. You can't put bubble wrap on these drivers and expect them to act a certain way, be a certain way all the time. Because at the end of the day, they are race car drivers. They're going to live their lives. They're going to do what they want to do. It doesn't matter what you put in the contract. They're still going to go and do basically things that they want to do. And Brad Keselowski even had an interesting uh, clip on Twitter or a thing on Twitter where he said his first 10 years in the Cup Series, he was afraid to do anything. It took him 10 years to sort of get over that. So I found that interesting as well. So that's basically where I fall on this issue. But I know everybody's different. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. And that is all I've got for you on this one. Just wanted to give you an update. And there is no timeline on his return as well. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens going forward, who they replace him with, if they don't stick with Josh Berry. So all that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you on this one. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe down below. Uh, if you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you. It helps out the channel a whole lot. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.